Hey guys, Naked Vault Dweller here, and this quest walkthrough is from the Skyline expansion for Fallout 76, which is called Into the Lands Unknown. When you enter into Vault 63, you'll be greeted by a host of Vault Dwellers from Vault 63 called The Lost. Now take note because you're going to see a lot of these guys throughout the rest of this quest line. There's a lot of crossover from the score shit you see out in the wasteland and the characteristics of the lost. These ghouls will attack you on sight so be careful. With their electrical attacks they're highly vulnerable to pulse grenades so keep a couple of those in your pocket if you've got any. Once you've taken care of the onslaught of the lost chasing after you, you'll work your way over using your compass to an intercom to speak to Hilda Stoltz. When you complete your dialogue with Hilda through the intercom, your map will update to go to Sky Skyline Drive in the Skyline Valley. Now for many new players, this area is going to be completely blank, so you're going to have to work your way to that location. For me, there seemed like there was two no-brainer locations to choose from, either Vault 96 or Johnson Acre. Personally, I chose Johnson Acre because it seemed like it was the closest to me. When we make it over to Skyline Drive, we're going to want to speak to Craig. Craig apparently doesn't have a last name, which usually means that he's not going to have any more interactions outside of this quest line. With your interactions with Craig, he'll ask you if you can hunt down some of his friends that he's lost contact with. The quest will update and you'll have to search for survivors along Skyline Drive 03 starting out. So let's get started with that. The first place that we're going to be led to is around the center of this circle. Now we'll have several more throughout the quest line that we're going to see like that. Usually it's within the center of that circle. So that's kind of what you want to look for. And it's not always obvious either what the quest mark is. Oftentimes you have to be within five or 10 meters of the item before it'll even show up on your screen. The first location that we'll find is going to be this corpse perched up on this fence. We're just going to select its body and it reads, you found a dead settler slumped over the fence, likely one of Craig's group but is pulled around him from a head wound. Looking closely, he died by a single bullet to the back of the head, leaving a blood trail off the cliff. Now for this unfortunate survivor, his token is actually on the road down below, just on the other side of the cliff here. It's going to be a hat you'll pick up off the ledge. Just make sure you place the flare before you go and pick it up. Next, we're going to work our way east to this location where we'll find our next survivor or non-survivor propped up against this board here. When we examine the body, we discover you found a dead settler, likely one of Craig's group, from the blood and injuries, it looks like the lost were in him. Judging from the blood trail, he must have been gravely injured further down the tunnel. And of course, you'll want to go ahead and place the flare. Further on into the tunnel next to the SOS sign, you're going to see Rob's journal. You want to collect that for Craig. Popping back to our map, now we're going to head back to the west to Dark Hollow Manor and collect the last of the survivor's trinkets. When you get to this location, right in front of the gates to Dark Hollow Manor, you're going to see a blood stain on the ground. You're going to want to examine that. You found a pool of blood surrounded by a lost fallen in battle, someone must have taken their last stand here, likely one of Craig's group. On closer inspection, they took out the loss as they were chased from the manor. No drag marks, so they may have survived. All right, so this guy still might be alive. And then out of nowhere, the lost will try to attack you, so make sure to take care of those guys before you proceed on to the manor. And propped up right at the gates of the manor, you're going to find Rebecca's hollow tags. You're going to grab those so you can return those to Craig too. And in this video, I'm not going to show us returning all this stuff back to Craig. We do that as well. He gives us caps. It's fantastic. I'm glad he does it, but there's not a lot after that. So I'm just not going to include it in the video. As we start approaching Dark Hollow Manor, the Into the Lands Unknown quest will wrap up and the Calm Before will start. The rewards for this quest is going to be various aid items and weapon items that are consumables, as well as the plan for the Shenandoah Park sign that you can put in your camp. And that's going to wrap it up for this portion of the quest line. If the video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already part of our community, would love for you to be part of that with us. So please hit the subscribe button too. And I'll see you guys soon in Appalachia. Love you, bye. Oh, how nice it is to be finally out in the great outdoors where I could see nature and what, what, wait a tick, what is that? This looks to be like some kind of pre-war microwave or something. What does this button do? Uh-oh.